What's up everybody, it's your man Jay Phil from HowToMakeVerySickBeats.com and in this video we're going to show you how to connect your NPC 2000 XL with Logic. So let's get into it. <laughs> so this is going to be like an updated version of a video I did around 8 years ago which is crazy from the time of this video. And um... I was talking about how to use the MPC 2000 XL as a controller. We're going to do it again, but this time instead of Pro Tools, we're going to use Logic. And so anyway, it's basically the same concept. So here we go. Okay, so this is a very simple process. This is my Focusrite Scarlet 2i4, and this is Mingus, aka MPC 2000 XL. So all you need is two MIDI cables. Yes, they still make these old school kind and I'll leave a link in the description if you don't have any and you want to check it out. And also, what we're going to do is turn this around and show you how to connect it. Okay, so you have MIDI, MIDI in and MIDI out. Let's take one of the cables and plug in MIDI in. Alright, so once you have the MIDI in, you're going to take the other end of it into MIDI out A, like so. Then you take your other cable, plug that into MIDI out. Take the other end into MIDI in one. So those are your connections. MIDI in goes to MIDI out, and then MIDI out goes to MIDI in. So I'm just using one and A. Don't forget to have your USB connected to your laptop or your computer. That's the most important part or this will not work. Once you do your connections, there's one thing that you have to make sure you do. And I've done this on the other video. I'll show a link, but just in case, I'll, I'll show it here as well. The thing you have to make sure is when you are in your NPC, you have to set your program. So we'll go shift program, right? Go to drum one. And I already did this, this is, it says chromatic and it's for a reason, right? You wanna make sure all your pads are in order, starting from 36, 37, 38, 39, all the way up, you know, go to the next bank, to the next bank, make sure you go all the way up to about 60, yeah, 60. Or 98, make sure you go all the way up to 98. So you can start at 36, meaning each note, like pad A1 is 36, make sure pad A2 is 37, 38, 39, because when you first turn it on, it's not, it's, the numbers are going to be all scrambled. So you just go in there and type those numbers in. Once you do that, then you're good to go. Then go to your, your sequence page and you're gonna make sure. Boy, Ming is getting old. Look, look at the screen. <laughs> then you're gonna make sure, let's say you're on your sequence page, go to your sequence page, right? Go to drum one. And I'll, this is already a program, right? So you just go to 1A. 1A. So it's gonna be on off, and then you just scroll to 1A. Once you do that, you are good to go. Everything should be hooked up. Okay, so back in Logic, you wanna make sure that you, you know, you go to your file and just do a quick check for it. Just go to, um, click on Logic Pro X at the top left-hand corner, click Preferences, and then go to MIDI. After that, you wanna make sure, go to your MIDI tab if it's not there already, 
and make sure that your interface is connected or the right MIDI device. For me, it's the Scarlet, okay? So once it's checked, you're good to go. It should work. And you don't have to do anything else. So now I should be able to play any sound that I have. So like I'm on uh, this keyboard sound, right? See? And it's in order. I could go up the higher keys. And since it's MIDI, I could choose any sound. It doesn't even matter. Same thing goes for drums. This is my favorite part. So I pulled up a drum kit from Very Sick Drums 2. And same thing. I got them here. See? So that means I can play the drums and just control any sound that I want via MIDI. <laughs> Y'all get it? So it's okay to still have these old school drum machines, man, and still utilize newer sounds and updated sounds and all that, and still have the capability to use the NPC, the older NPCs as audio. So you can use audio or MIDI. You know what I'm saying? Go back and forth. That's what I do. So I will leave the links to the cables if you need any of the cables, because I know, you know, MIDI is still old school for a lot of folks. <laughs> and s some people have no idea. They have no clue. But anyway, yeah, I'll leave all the links down below if you're interested. And thanks for watching. It's your man, Jayfield. I hope this was helpful. I'm sending peace and positive energy.